The weak but fierce looking tornado caught a lot of people off guard. Those land spouts typically don't cause much damage and they are notoriously hard to predict. Danielle Grant, this one kind of popped up out of nowhere. It certainly did, Kyle. And of course, it is hard to predict because they form at the ground. So we really can't track it on radar until it really gets up a bit higher. Now, let's compare and contrast a tornado versus a landspout tornado. Lots of questions going on. So first, let's dive in. The tornado, what you see up in a supercell, they usually form up in the storm cloud aloft with those rotating winds. They hit the wall cloud and then drop to the ground. Usually, they're a bit more more dangerous out there. Land spout tornadoes, just the opposite. They form as we have those uh, winds starting to converge on the surface and then they get sucked up into the clouds, into the storms, typically a little weaker. The National Weather Service will be going out there tomorrow to check out the damage and see EF0, EF1. Again, fairly weak, which is a good sight to see. But again, it all starts at the ground where we have that rate rotating air at the surface. Then you get the thunderstorms that start to build in. We have rising air, so that allows all the dust and debris to kind of get sucked up, kind of looks more like a funnel, and then it produces uh, just kind of that little column of air that we saw as it's sitting and spinning on the ground as it attaches to the cloud. The thunderstorm uh, that sparked right there about five o'clock when we saw that tornado warning go into effect, it really didn't look all that impressive on radar. That's because it formed at the ground. We really can't see it on radar because that beam goes way up high, 15, 25,000 feet. As that hour between 5 and 6 progressed, you started to see the thunderstorm begin to amplify quite a bit. We saw a lot of lightning, some hail within this cell, and by about 6 o'clock or so, the warning expired, and luckily, the majority of the action stayed west of Highway 85. No shame in being a land spout, Danielle. No. Not everybody can be a tornado. <laughs> Absolutely. You know? No one got hurt, so it's all good. Yeah, if you're going to be a land spout, be a big one like today's. All right, <laughs> thank you, Danielle.